I'm here at Scott Bennett Engineering in Northamptonshire and I'm with Anton Clark here who is originally a turner, that's his forte, but his world has been turned upside down in a good way because of this part and this machine. So we're here on behalf of ETG and we're going to be talking about the Nakamura Tomy. However, before we begin, Anton has just got dressed for us and for this video in his polo top and taken off, well, changed his shorts to trousers now, so he looks really, really smart. Right, you're a turner by trade, Anton. How's this transformed your way of machining? Well, Lindsay, yes. Uh, as you say, I'm a turner by trade. Um, always been on fixed heads. Um, and this has opened my eyes to a different world. Um, I never did any milling before. Now I'm doing a milling and turning and I can produce parts like this, from billets like this. So what was the old way of machining? Well, previously we would have just made this billet, simple turn, simple part off, over to the mills for two more ups. Now, I can turn this part, I can drill and tap it, I can face mill it around the outside to put the flats on, I can pocket mill it with a slot drill, I can drill and interpolate both these holes, I can part off, onto the sub spindle. I can form this shape around the back here with slot drills, part it off into the work catcher, into the tin, to the anodizers, out the door. Fantastic. <laughs> Brilliant, right. And this is the second investment yes, into is. this machine. So yep. you bought the Nakamura Tomy AS200L 18 months ago, yep. and now six months ago, you've got another one. Another one, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what, what we found was obviously, we love the machine so much, we thought, let's buy another one. <laughs> Simple as that. Obviously, all the tooling's interchangeable, all the jobs interchangeable. Again, quick, quick, quick changeovers, quicker cycle times. Um, we've saved 10% on this job. Um, and, we, and, that, and that's just on the cycle time? That's just on the cycle time, and we're using less material, obviously less handling, less mistakes can be made. Um, the, the job's a winner, simple yeah, as that. It really and, is. And this is only just uh, one particular part. So can you, parts, can you show me the original billet yeah, you were, you were using? Yeah, yeah. So when you say less material um, okay, you're well, using, you used to have to hold part of the part. That, that much material there, which is approximately 19 mil, uh, we, we, we don't waste that anymore. That was just, that was just used by our, our milling section to hold onto while he milled. We now don't need that. We probably use half a mil each end, so we're wasting about a mil on that on that particular part. So over a large batch, you're talking bars that you're bars of aluminium that are not cheap. Yes. And now, what's happening to the machines that yes. are kind of not being made redundant from this job, but they're working? We have, we have a big milling section, and obviously, it's freeing up more workspace, more time on the milling machines to uh, to do other jobs. Simple as that. Yeah. Yeah. Saving time, saving money. One last thing as well, yeah. on your personal opinion, opinion as a machinist, what are you finding that is so good about this machine? Well, there's a question. Uh, I suppose it's, 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 the, it's the fact of a more modern machine that runs a million times quicker. Um, cannot believe what it's capable of. A very sturdy machine that can do, and I, I appreciate this is only aluminium, but I've done various jobs in steel, brass, uh, titanium, all that sort of thing, um, it just, it runs, well it's, it's, it's faultless, I cannot fault the machine at all, it's, it's brilliant, first division machine. Brilliant, now thank you so much for yeah. that Anton, you can now go get back changed into your jumper and your shorts, okay? <laughs> thank you very much, <laughs> sweating. <laughs> thank no, you. <laughs>